Hey guys, this is Alex the Vegan Gamer, and we're playing Bayonetta. Alright, where are we heading next? Should be pretty interesting. Alright, I've already looked at this in the previous video. Right now, I want to jump up here, I just don't know how. Ah, this should work. What did I just get? Arcade bullet. Bullets used to play angel attacks. Attack. One pack contains three bullets for use during the game. Alright. Let's go through here. Favorite Central Station. I'm gonna check this. The history of the station is written here. It seems it was converted from an ancient temple. <laughs> Let's break the whole place up. I realize you guys that to make these videos I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing because I don't want to bore you guys so I'm gonna round up the crystal witch of sage the crystal witch and sage Within Vigrid City, there are a great many structures built long ago by two clans, the Umbra Riches and the Lumen Sages. Amongst them, all have a sun and moon duality, evidence of a peculiar outlook towards the universe. The witches representing the moon and the sages representing the sun, burning into the fabric of the city in various ways. One of these structures, a pair of statues crafted from a high-quality crystal known as Belteston Crystallos, featured both a witch and a sage. The statues appeared to hold some sort of special significance. According to the ancient records, they were created to aid in the training of the art of overseeing time a skill only the two clans were capable of practicing. That also served as the key to locking something away from public view should the clans feel the need for secrecy. However, the exact details of this art are unknown. Now the city, scared by the tragic witch hunts of the past, has seen many of these statues depicting witches destroyed are heavily defaced. Even these beautiful crystal statues were unable to escape the calamitous fighting. Alright, I got two books now. I hope you guys don't mind me reading these, but I don't know, I find it interesting. When they create a video game, I just want to know everything there is about it. There's a simple map posted. It appears the surrounding area is a historic neighborhood aimed at tourists. Tourists. <laughs> Whoa! Shouldn't have destroyed that. This is one beautiful video game. I need those halos. I enjoy reading, even though my English is not perfect. I just find... Oh, this is an invisible wall. I just find... Uh, it's a challenge for me, I guess. <laughs> Helps me improve. Yeah. Is there gonna be another key here? Most probably. 
Wow, a lot of halos. More bullets. Find the angle kind of weird. Ooh, cutscene. Fighting time. First fear. Applaud Archangels. <laughs> get ready to get your butt kicks. That a pole dance? What the heck is that? <laughs> I'm not too sure what I'm doing. Oh, I just got. Is he a boss? He seems bigger than the other ones. I have to attack his jewel behind his back. It's pretty easy so far. What? She uses her hair to attack? Whoa! <laughs> that is spooky. <laughs> Her clothes are made out of her hair. Versus three. All right, you guys. Let's see what is next. I can pick up this weapon. It's huge. Oh, okay. I guess it transforms into a lighter object. I'm gonna keep this big one. What is this? Trois marches militaires. That's a French word. It means three means. Well, trois means three. Marche means walk. Militaire means military. So, a golden LP featuring the crystallized voices of angels. Some sort of silhouette is drawn upon the surface. Super cool. 
Alright you guys, I'm gonna stop right here, tell you guys to not to forget to save the animals, kick some monsters butt, and I will see you in the next video.